Hey, it's me, and I want to show you a new feature in Glide. This is called Set Columns, and this was in staging for a while, and basically this lets you alter or edit a column in your sheet based off of another column in your sheet. So, for example, I could push a button and set the, the current date time column to the current date and time. All right. But super powerful. The new addition to set column is the ability to alter a different sheet from the tab that you're currently on. So if I'm in a uh, posts tab, I could theoretically push a button in the posts tab and alter a column in my user profile sheet as long as there's a relation between the two sheets. And so the premise that I have here is I have a tracker and I want to click certain inline list buttons or a certain images in an inline list and have it alter the different sheet. So first off, I have an add row component. So by clicking this start today's journal, I click the button and it's supposed to uh, generate a new form. You see it does, but it doesn't put in my current day yet because I can't grab the current user uh, sheet yet, but it'll look like this. Okay, and then I have this new tracker here. All right, um, so with I've, some of the bit of ingenuity, what I'm really proud of here is this is an inline list, these four things I'm tracking. This is for, um, for new mothers and they're tracking their body health after giving birth. Um, and I wanna keep track of some certain things here, right? So this is an inline list on a completely different sheet. So here I have food, water, poop, and medicine, right? So those four things exist in just this generic sheet with those four items, food, water, poop, and medicine, okay? And what I want to do, what I wanted was uh, display these four things with these four icons, but have them act as buttons. So when I press these, I want to track the progress for that specific day. So what I did was, is I grabbed the current user and then the current user's day that they're on, and I combined that into a template column here. Okay. Then I related this column to the actual user tracker that we took a look at, that was that form that we filled out here, here. So it's relating it back to this column. And on this column in the sheet, I have spaces for food, water, poop, and medicine. And so what I want to see happen is when I push the icons in this sheet, right? So if I push on this, I want it to edit these columns here. All right. So I had to think of, okay, how can I go about doing that? So what I ended up doing was using the set column and uh, with set column, I can only use columns that are already in the sheet. So I had to create the increment basically um, using some if then else's. So here is my current user's day. I related it to the uh, user's tracker. And then I'm looking up that current value for those three things right? Because I just started my day, those lookups are empty. Now, in order to do a math column, there needs to be some sort of number in here. So I had to do an if then else to say, if it was empty, then give it the number zero. Otherwise, if we end up um, adding increments to these columns, then these will just display whatever this is. So it's either going to be zero or whatever's in this column. Okay. And then to do a set column, I wanted to set it as an, at an increment to one. Um, I couldn't use an increment action because the increment action can't do the relation lookup yet. Uh, it only can do an increment on the, on the values of the current sheet. So, but the set column can do a different sheet. So I just had to create the increment here. So I used a math column to say whatever this is plus one. Okay, so here's food plus one, water plus one, and poop plus one. And so because there's, it's empty, these are equal to zero, and the next increment will be one. So if I increment my other sheet by food, let's say by one, this will say one, this will say one, and this will say two. Okay, 
All right, and then the medicine, uh, this user wants to say what the current or the last time they took their medicine. We'll display here. So this will actually be a current date and time here. Okay, so in order to get that to happen, I need I was able to use the set column action. So here, finally, I'll show you what my action is. So here's this inline list. And under the visibility conditions here, or sorry, under the action, I have it set up with four different um, conditions. So if habits equals food, then I'm going to set the food column to that increment of the food plus one math column that I showed you. And instead of choosing the this item, you choose the relation to, you choose the relation. So this is the, again, that relation that goes back from just that generic sheet to the user's profile or the user's uh, um, that form submission sheet. And I'm looking specifically with this condition just at the food. And I'm gonna increment just food plus one. So if I push that food button, then I'm gonna increment that related column by one. Yeah, And so I replicated that four times for the four different things I'm tracking. Um, in this case, for the medicine, I'm not setting it to plus one. I'm setting it to the current date and time. All right, so saving that. So um, in order, so then uh, if I push on this, you see that it increments food by one. And this is another version of it that, this was the version I was playing with earlier. These were just buttons. So if I push one here, you see it also replicates because it's pointing to the same column here. So this is what I was able to achieve with buttons, but isn't this UI so much prettier? Look at that. You can have them all in one row rather than taking up all this block of space. All right, so how do you get it? So in inline list though, um, this tag is looking at one singular column, whereas my tracker has four different columns. So in order to get those four different columns into one column for this tag component, I had to combine them using an if then else. So the very last thing here was in this moods and habits tracker, right? Here's all of my data that I've been doing so far. So again, you see that um, my food is a two. So the next food plus one is a three. I've incremented these plus ones. So these are twos. Okay. Um, and now I do an if then else finally to show the display. So again, if it's a, if it's food, then I'm going to show that lookup of the if food. Um, if it's water, then the if water. If poop, then the if poop. And if habits, then the then the then the, um, the medicine. And so now I'm getting my unique uh, counters for the specific user. Um, here. And then this is what I'm displaying in the tag. So effectively now I have buttons that increment a different sheet altogether. Uh, how cool is that? And so yeah, this will give me the date and time, right? And it's always the current date and time. So if you, I'm not sure if you can see my clock here, but it says say 925 at the moment PM for me. And so then as this user is tracking their, their counts, right? Um, then at the end of the day, what's nice is then it will tally it up and give them a nice little view here day by day. All right, so that's the new set column based on a relation. A little tricky, but super powerful and the UI is spectacular. So thank you, Glide, for doing that. Um, we've just opened up our world to more development.